today we'll be reviewing the solar string lights. They're 20 feet in length and they have 30 LEDs. They're warm white color, they're waterproof and meant for indoor and outdoor decor. And with the holidays coming up soon, they would be excellent for an outdoor decoration for Christmas or Hanukkah. So you have the 30 LEDs here and they have um, very hard plastic, very glued on, very tightly. And there's a LED light in each one of these bulbs. Currently attached to the solar panel, which is very wide. It's to be a very high quality solar panel in there. And then you can see that as it charges, it'll have a light right here that turns blue. You can also mount it on a wall, and it does come with three anchors and three screws to mount it to a wall if you want, the solar panel that is. So you can have it like this on a wall somewhere, pointing south hopefully, because that's the best way to do solar panels. But you can also stick it in the ground, the stick that they have, which can go in this right there. And that's probably what I'll be doing, because I'm going to tell you what my plans are for this in a second. So when I got these, I had a plan because I have some old mason jars and I'm going to make a decorative mason jar light out of these. It's going to be put in the front yard bed. But we'll just display it in here so you can see what it looks like. Uh, pretty much I'm going to hopefully get these plastic LEDs in there in a suitable manner where they all kind of surround this. For now I'm just going to prove my idea and show you how bright these LEDs are. So first let's see how bright they are without the mason jar. So as you can see it's very dark and the on off switch is behind the solar panel. I'm just going to turn it on and that's constantly on. And as you can see they're warm white. They have a nice glow about them. And they, you know, they're decorative lights. They're definitely not uh, going to light up the whole house or anything like that. Same brightness as ordinary Christmas lights. But they look really good. And yeah, we'll put them in the jar and we'll see how they uh, look. Other thing about these lights is that there are two buttons on the back of the solar panel, which I'll show you once I turn the lights on. But one is to turn them on and the other one is to select mode. You can have a steady on, in which it says in the manual the last six to eight hours like that. Or you can have them blinking. And they say that will last eight to ten hours. The lights will only turn on when it's dark out, so the solar panel is not charging. And the lights will automatically come on, which makes it great for yard and outdoor use. So just to show you on the back of the solar panel, on the main buttons, uh, I covered up the solar panel. See, it turns off and on according to light. But you have an on-off button and you have a mode button right here. And again, that makes it go from steady to blink and this just turns the master off or on. But again, it does require that the solar panel is in darkness for it to light up. So just to prove that the lights are waterproof, I filled the mason jar up with water. And you can see that they're all staying lit and nothing's happening. Again, there is water in the jar, as you can see. And here you go, here's what it looks like at night outside. Uh, looks really good, it's really bright. It's actually brighter than what you see right now on the video. This camera has pick up all the light from it. But if you would like to buy the 20 foot 30 LED solar string light, I'll leave a link in the description below. You'll be helping out the Eric DIY channel and you'll be buying an excellent light, whether used for decoration like I have it or for the holidays where you could drape it across some bushes or trees or something like that. Thank you and have a great evening. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.